This video has been made possible by Rebus Farm, the professional render service. Hi there, my name is Mike Hermes and welcome to my channel. Okay guys, well today we're going to do a short key shot tutorial and I'm going to show you something very really neat. Okay, um, what you can do in key shot is you can present a product. So uh, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you a part of an engine where I have a specific part of that engine that I want to highlight for presentation purposes. Okay. Now, you can use this for, let's say, whenever you're presenting a product for sales or whatnot, but you can also use this in your demo reel if you are, um, you know, creating characters and so forth, uh, where you can uh, show um, your audience uh, how you created your model, okay? So let's uh, check it out and have some fun. Here we go. Okay, guys, here we go. So we're in my 2016 and I loaded up a model of an engine I did a while back and that's what we're going to use to demonstrate the principle. Okay, so let's say we have a, a component in our engine that we want to highlight or to present, you know, to an audience or I don't know, you're selling something, whatnot. And uh, so you want the rest of the engine to kind of be in the background and you want to highlight that specific component. Okay. So what I did is I took my entire engine here. I went up to export selection and I saved that out as an engine.obj. Okay. So that will allow us to load that up in Keyshot. So let's jump in. Hang on. Okay guys, here we are. So we're going to go up to file, we're going to go to import, and I'm going to select the engine model that I exported from Maya. Okay, so I'm going to use the default settings here and I'm going to hit import. We'll just give that a sec. And there you have it. There is our engine. Okay. Now, depending on the applied material, and I'll just quickly check that because we do need a uh, <clears throat> a uh, material what we're going to do is we are going to go in and go to the tune material okay so i'm going to go to the outline material under tune and i'm going to left click drag and pull that over so once you do that <clears throat> you can see that the entire object um, gets a black outline but i want to tweak this a little bit so i'm going to double click on it we're going to go up to color in the material Let's maybe do something that's a bit more red, maybe something like that, maybe a bit less. Okay. And now we're going to hit OK. Let's say you have a piece of the shaft in here that has a different material and you want to show that to, let's say, a customer. Okay. What you can do is you can go into your transparency settings. And as you see, once you pull that out, you can see that you can look straight through your model okay so you can see the individual components which i think is pretty cool like that and you can see for example the elements that are inside here and all that kind of stuff very nice so let's say you want to have um, one component very visible okay in order to do that we're going to jump back into maya here we go so we're back in Maya. I made sure that my engine is one mesh all over. Okay. And I made sure that everything has a standard gray Lambert. And now let's say there's one component that you want to highlight. Let's do this axle here. So for that, we're going to go to mesh and separate. We're going to take that section, that one, that one, that one, oh, not that one, that one, that one. that one right there and that piece at the end okay so now we've got all that we're gonna right click we're gonna assign a new material let's do a new Lambert and let's give that the color uh, I don't know red okay so now that we have all that we're gonna select the whole thing again come on there we go Should be able to drag select it, but sometimes, oops, sometimes he doesn't want to play ball. So we'll just have to do it this way. That's okay. 
looks like we got everything. Yep. And we're going to go up to file, export selection once again. And I'll overwrite my engine OBJ file. Here we go. And overwrite. Let's give that a sec. And we'll jump back into Keyshot. Hang on. Okay, here we are. So we're going to go to File and New. We're going to discard that. We're going to go to uh, Import. We're going to select our engine model once again. Open in default. And now you see we have our engine and we have one section of the engine being red. Okay. Now you can already see it because the rest is gray, but what we're going to do is we're going to replace the gray material with our tune material like so. And then we're going to double click on it. We're going to go into our material tab. Let's click on color. Let's change that color. Uh, let's do something besides red maybe a bit blue-ish, like so. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hit OK. We're going to go to our transparency settings. And this will give a very, very cool effect. All right. Now, like I said, pretty, pretty neat, huh? Well, that's one of the very cool features that you have in Keyshot. So have fun with that. You can um, also, for example, um, you know, increase the uh, the quality of the contour, uh, and I believe even the width. Yeah, there you go. So whenever you need to uh, present a product, but let's say you want to present a model that you created in a demo reel, uh, you can use that as well because it will give a very good insight in how you created your. Um, model okay cool so that's our little trick here uh hopefully you enjoyed it if you like this video please like share and subscribe okay see you guys next time bye